in the comment section of course a whatsapp group is available for sports and vgh fans please join my whatsapp group how do you join it check the description box the link of the whatsapp group will be there and then you join it over there for us so that we all can talk about everything the blaster sports foreign football gun a barca arsenal real madrid everything can be talked on that particular platform um, in a beautiful fashion over there thank you very much for Yes, yes, yes. All right. Thank you very much for staying. Now, Coach Chris Hutton himself has revealed why he benched Andre the day are you the captain of the side throughout the game versus Angola and uh, <laughs> we are going to delve into it but Andre the day are you wasn't injured no 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 injury no knock nothing coach Chris Hutton explains and I'm going to give it to you on this channel sports 7 GH also Antoine Semenyon talked after the game yes all of these things came after um, for a post-match press conference and we are going to give you the exact details uh, in this particular video and a lot more in this video so please do want to subscribe to the channel if this is your first time watching us here for a lot more fantastic update exclusive content fantastic videos for the black stars and everything highlights and everything subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell and select all leave your thoughts and comments below in the comment section if you have any it's always always a pleasure to have you join us now let's start from um the ghana under 23 team they will be playing algeria today so another ghana day another day for um the national team but this time under 23 they are also playing their afghan qualifiers and they will be playing algeria today in the first leg the second leg will be at the babayara sports stadium in kumasi also so uh all the best to the under 23 team coach ibrahim tanko handling them says that they are ready the likes of attack Shaku, Enes Nyama, some competent local players, Danad Ibrahim, Daniel Fiebani, all of them, they are at that particular camp. But that particular tournament is an important one for Ghana because it is the it, that is where you get the qualification to Olympic Games. And Ghana has been out of the Olympic Games for a very long time. And so we are hoping that firstly the Ghana 23 team will qualify to the African um, uh, African Cup, uh, African Nations tournament okay and then from if they are playing the that particular afcon under 23 then they will also be able to qualify to olympics uh, over there so that is the that bit on the under 23 now let's move to the black stars antoine semenyon got the winner for the senior national team the black stars yesterday in the 90 plus six minutes last kick of the game oh, then he got the beautiful goal to slot home for the senior national team the black stars in a very competitive and difficult game after the game, um, journalist asked Antoine Semenyon that um, Semenyon, what do you think about your 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 your, your goal? And then also um, the fact that you started off from the bench. I, he says that look, I mean, I the fact that I represent Ghana, I am okay with that. I am okay starting from the bench or playing um, or starting in the starting eleven. So for me, I am okay with everything. But of course, he also expressed his excitement in scoring for Ghana. His excitement in scoring at the Kumase Babayara Sports Stadium and his excitement in scoring um, in such a very difficult and competitive African Cup of Nations qualifiers. Yes, so that was Antoine Semenyo after the game. Now, by way of information, we are getting reports that um, um, Alexander Jiku had a knock. In fact, that is the reason why he was substituted. But let's wait and see for a lot more confirmations from the Ghana Football Association and all of that. But the report is that Alexander Jiku had a knock over there in that particular game. And uh, maybe it's a, just a slight knock. But let's see how things go for Alexander Jiku. Now, 
Let's talk about Chris Hutin and what he said after the game. He also talked about the chances. Generally said that, look, Chris, it looks like we didn't create chances like that. It looks like we created future. He said, no, 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 no. We created chances. We had about 11 chances in the game, but we couldn't score. And that is our problem. He said that the things they've learned from this particular game is that Ghana Blasters is struggling to score and it was evident in that particular game versus Angola, Ghana versus Angola. But Chris Uti says that, look, we created 11 chances. And if you are a team, if you are a coach, if you are a manager, and your team is creating 11 chances in a game, it tells you that even though they failed to um, convert a lot of those chances, but in the subsequent games, they will work on it and then try and convert a lot of those chances into goals. So he says we lack goal scoring and that should be worked on very well. And I, he could wouldn't have said it any better because Ghana Blasters are struggling to score goals. Yes, at the World Cup, we tried our best to score uh, some number of goals. But clearly, if you look at the way we play, the shape we play and everything, it tells you of how like we are struggling to score goals uh, in that particular team. But Chris Uti says we created a lot of chances i don't know what you think do you see did you see that we created a lot of chances or do you think that the chances were few or what let me know your thoughts comments views in the comment section of this particular video it's always a pleasure to have you now hey <laughs> andre the day are you andre the day are you andre the day are you crazy team they you have to ask chris Uting at the post match press conference chris Uting was asked why did you bench your captain throughout the game in fact, in the first half, Kwame the day you was doing where you warm up. He warmed up and then he came back to sit down. Charmaine didn't look at him. The coach said, no, 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 no. what is that? But Chris Uti said that it was my choice. Simple. It was my choice to bench Andre the day you. Simple. No explanations. It's just a choice. Benching players, he says that benching players is a choice by the manager. He says that Andre the day you still has the quality um, in him. He's still a quality player. Everybody knows the quality he can bring on board. But everybody also know the quality that the other players can also bring on board. Chris Uti is the man for the job. That one, yeah, it's so clear. It's so clear that Chris Uti is the man. The way he speaks, the way he explains things, the way he waters things, no. Ah, he said that Andrea you there. He's a quality player. Everybody understands. But we also understand the quality of the other team. And benching players, benching Andrea you was just my choice and was just my decision. Case closed. So Andrea you wasn't injured. Andrea, you didn't have any luck. And the fact is that even on the flyer for the lineup, Andrea, you was in part. So it means that he was not part of the game, Ankasa. But I'm sure the people who went back and do like, blah, 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 let's let him go sit at the bench and things and things. Nah, so you get a point. But that is the explanation Chris Hutin has given for um, benching Andrew Dede Ayu um, in that particular game versus Angola. Ghana versus Angola. A lot of issues coming from that particular game. And trust us that we are going to bring you all of those issues on this channel, Sports 7GH. What do you have to do? Do well to subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell always. Like this video. Leave your thoughts and comments below in the comment section if you have any. What are your thoughts, comments, opinions about all of these things we've discussed with you in this video? Leave them below in the comment section, of course. A WhatsApp group is available for Sports Savvy GH fans. Please join my WhatsApp group. How do you join it? Check the description box. The link of the WhatsApp group will be there. And then you join it over there for us. So that we all can talk about everything. The Blaster Sports, Foreign Football, Ghana, Barca, Arsenal, Real Madrid. Everything can be talked on that particular platform um, in a beautiful fashion over there. Thank you very much for staying with us. Please do well to subscribe to the channel. Definitely. I'll see you in the next update. Bye-bye.